Hello YouTube, this is ZombieBeast92, and I come to you with bad news and a good video. Uh, first, uh, if you saw the Foreign Legion FAMAS review, I have a shooting test on my camera and a few other videos I need to upload on my camera, but the battery is dead and I cannot find the charger. So that is the bad news, but um, here is that update video that I told you about for my... Uh, Stinger R34, the mods I've done to it, there aren't really many, uh, I'm going to show you that, and then how to make it more accurate, spending no money on anything except the gun itself. So you, uh, they're kind of mods, but I consider it mods. I have this, my blue mags, I'll be showing you how to make, sometime when I get duct tape, my grip. That is on my camera, so I can't upload that video yet of how to make it. And this laser sight. There it is. Uh, now what you can do to make this gun more accurate is you can add a laser. That's what I did. It's the easiest. But there is also a few other things that I want to point out. Um, my gun, I don't know if this is everywhere, but if you look at it from the top the right way, the barrel is actually bent, so it shoots to the right a little bit. Um, but if you do this, it should help a little bit. So what you're going to want to do is have the sight that came with it. I know it's ugly and it's gay. But unless you cut this um, handle off, this is the only way to do it. So let me get the sight on. This thing is freaking difficult. Like, it's not hard, but it's being difficult. And I will show you something else here in a minute about the gun. But I need to take off the stock. Uh, there's uh, sights right there that are adjustable. You can flip them. See, there's one that's tall and one that's short. On mine, like I said in the review, they're not the same height. So if even on the short one, if you're aiming like you have them perfectly lined up with the little notch and the hole then you're gonna be shooting high because you think you're holding the gun like this but it's actually like this a little bit so you're gonna hit way high so what you do is you, the only thing you need for this video a screwdriver and this little screw right there and a nut right there all you have to do is unscrew it, take them out, and then this pops out. And eventually, um, it seems weird at first not using it, but eventually you get used to it, and it does work a lot better than what it originally was. And I would like to show you one more thing about this gun that I just recently discovered, actually is that if you want to put a normal handguard on here from like a better gun or something I wouldn't do it unless you want attachment rails all around that gun this thing whatever it is you can just pull that back and then the rails will all come off so see no more attachment rails so you can do that and then they Easily enough, they just go right back to where they were. So, that crap. Well, anyway, I won't do this right now, but that is it for now, and I will see you later in whatever my next video is. So, yeah.